Morning everybody, it's Harold from Living in the Hill Country. Today we're going to harvest some green beans and I believe we have some squash that are ready to uh, be harvested. So I got my bucket, my cutters here. Let's get to it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness right here in the Hill Country of Texas. I think we're going to start right in here um, and uh, see what we can find. Um, I've noticed with some like, watering and filming that there were some in there, so let's just go ahead and, yeah, there, we'll just go ahead and Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some pretty good sized beans on him. There's still some more there. We're going to let that set. Oh, here's what I missed off this guy. A couple more. A little bit mature yet. We'll let them grow a little bit more. Um, these have just blossoms on them, and uh, a lot of these were planted after certain ones, so um, we'll probably be picking beans uh, for a month here. Let's move to the other side. So we'll see what we have here. Here they are. Almost waited too long on a couple of these, looks like. Well, uh, and he's, he's still producing more, so. Yeah, here, nothing. Over here we have. <laughs> yes, well. I don't know if you can see that over there or not, but let's move the camera a little bit. You can kind of see what I'm doing there, I guess. This is the exciting part. Well, it's all kind of exciting. It's a, a great hobby to have. And uh, teach your children, grandchildren. I wish my grandchildren were around here in this area so I could teach them how to do this, how to grow their own roots and vegetables. I know that they would enjoy this. And, uh, would really spark a, an interest in them. Let's go there. 
still have some younger plants growing. That's fantastic. Double check this guy. This guy over here. Um, maybe we'll go over here and check over here. It's hard for me to see what I'm what I'm filming here. If I'm filming at all. And these are kind of young. Well, for the most part, there's some carrots coming up. There used to be carrots on this side, and they didn't come up very well, so I just uh, dug up the ground and planted some the beans. But So that's not too bad. And those that's quite a few beans off of pretty much just two plants. So now uh, let's go on over to the squash. I know that there's some right here that are ready to come out. Um, hopefully you can see those. I'll uh, get them off of there. This one's a little bit small, but no worries. Look at those, nice. And then, I know, I know there's a few more in here, but you'll see when I pull them out. Beautiful, beautiful squash. Amazing. size and then we're gonna have quite a few there's another one over here that almost snuck away or got away from me the true crook neck <laughs> And then these two. And as you can tell, there's more in there. There's a couple there. A couple days on those, and let's see if I can't get these on there. There's one there, and then over here. Um, well, there's some down in there, but anyway. So I, I think we've done really well. Um, 
six squash this morning and uh, probably about uh, a pound of green beans in here. So I always like harvest a day and seeing the fruits of your labors. Um, hey, listen, thank you for watching this, this video. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you'd like, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell every time you, I do a harvest. I'll uh, film it and you'll see it. Um, just like uh, uh, potatoes that I harvested a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful day.